Okay, this video is a little bit different from the videos I normally make as I did not make it. It's just a little introduction to promote the video. It's for on behalf of the Greyhound Trust and the kennels at Liberton. It's made by a gentleman called Brendan, so I'll put all his information in the details section below. So hope you enjoy it and be sure to like and share. Thanks. The benefits of giving a greyhound a home are many. You're going to get a dog that is chilled. They don't want miles of walking every day. Twice a day for 20 minutes and they'll quite happily lie on their backs and sleep for the rest of the day. They're not called couch potatoes for nothing. We've both wanted a dog for years um, but we we weren't sure how we could get a dog to fit in with our lifestyle so we did lots of research and we found that greyhounds would just be perfect for us. We meet every Sunday at 10 o'clock and a walk goes out. People come to meet the retired dogs that are looking for their forever home. People come back week after week bringing the dogs that have already been home to them. They join in the walk. It's a very social event and everyone's welcome. I had a lot of phobias of dogs when I was a kid and that sort of carried on to adulthood so I was very against the idea of getting a dog. But I slowly came around and a bit more persuasive with my wife to uh, consider a dog. So we came to the Greyhound just to see what the dogs were like. She had some conversations with friends and they talked about how well behaved the Greyhounds were. So I thought I'll come along to the Greyhound Trust and walk some dogs to see and how we get on, if they're friendly, if they're compatible and I really enjoyed the experience and the calm sort of gentle nature of the dog sort of got me more uh, enthusiastic about the dog and then after a couple of weeks of coming here we decided to take a dog home with us so it was a really great experience coming here. If people want to home a greyhound from this branch we like them to come for at least three Sundays. This lets them bond with the dog but more importantly the dog bonds with them. So the homing process, when I take the dog to their house, the dog already knows them, the bond is formed. So initially they're anxious, they're in a strange car, they've gone to a strange house, but the minute their prospective owners open the door, it's fine. The dog recognises them, the bond is already formed. We home on average four dogs a month. These dogs have all retired from the racing track, either through um, old age or injury, or they're just not running fast enough. So I've had Magnus for about nine months, um, and he's a great dog. Uh, he's been a real joy to have at home. Super relaxed at home, but also a lot of fun. Quite quirky, quite cheeky. Uh, but he's been great for us. Uh, it's been great to get outside, go for some lovely walks and strolls, and you know, he's a great companion. We have social events at the kennels as well. Once a month we have a raffle and three times a year we have a barbecue and we also are involved with the Scottish Greyhound Gathering. We participate in the Great Global Greyhound Walk. We've had Rosie now for two weeks and we absolutely love her. We're big lazy lumps and Rosie's showing that so far. She's such a sweetheart and we love having her in our lives. Greyhound has never been allowed to be a puppy. A greyhound has worked from the minute it was born to turn it into a racing dog. You're also getting a dog from this branch where you will get support for as long as you need it. From the moment you ask to home a dog until you feel you can manage on your own. People still contact after five and six years just to ask questions. Come and join us.